the main purpose to show you the kidney in this uh, patient is to make you see the prominence of the pyramids, renal pyramids, medullary pyramids. Now see, this is the right kidney. Okay, this is the capsule. This is the cortex. And now these tiny cystic areas that you are seeing in the uh, in the medulla are the pyramids. And the pyramids you, you are seeing that as compared to the routine normal, they stand out very prominent. And the patient has severe pyuria. So, and this is the uh, central sinus ecogenic area, central sinus fat collecting system. Okay. Now the corticomedullary distinction is intact, thickness is normal. There are no calculi in the collecting system or the central sinus hypocomplex. But the, this much uh, prominence of the pyramids, the renal pyramids, is significant if you come across uh, any case. See, these are the pyramids. Now this is the upper core of the right kidney, this is the mid region of the right kidney and now we will move towards the lower core of the right kidney. The plumbus salivus, low core. So let's see first again the pyramids. Just concentrate on the pyramid, just all is normal. Cortex is normal. All the pyramids are you know, All the pyramids are significantly you know, prominent. The second uh, possibility in you know, ultrasound in which you will be seeing the prominence of the pyramids as you are seeing in this case. These are the pyramids. This is a pyramid. This is a pyramid. This is a pyramid. That uh, uh, will be the nephrotic syndrome and third will be some metabolic disorder. Okay, now this is uh, actually uh, was the reason to make this video segment. Now going towards the left kidney. Okay, now again you see that uh, the pyramids are that significant to prominent. Let me take a better image. This is a pyramid prominent. So you see that the same prominence of the pyramid is seen. The kidney is otherwise normal. Central sinus hypocomplex is normal, cortex is normal, but the only finding is that the pyramids are seen standing out very prominent in this uh, <coughs> right left kidney as well. This is a pyramid. This is a pyramid. This is a pyramid. So don't confuse these uh, uh, cystic areas as being renal cysts or medullary cysts. These are pyramids and they are marked by an ecogenic tiny tubular structure which is the uh, arcuate vessel. Now in this kidney we see two things. There is a cyst as well. Now if you see that uh, this is the cystic area that extends from the capsule up to the central sinus hypocomplex is internally appears to be internally clear and this is a simple renal cyst and these are the pyramids. So don't confuse a renal cyst with prominent pyramids. If this is a pyramid 
these are the pyramids. Then this is a cyst and you can see the location. Location of the cyst. And it does not change its position. The shape. When I move the place is the transfer section now and you can see that the shape remains the same. So if ever you come across such case with prominence of pyramids, with normal sized kidneys and otherwise showing normal anatomy, with the only finding being the prominence of the pyramids, it, it can be idiopathic without any reason. It can be uh, due to UTI, it can be due to some metabolic disorder and if the parenchymal ecogenicity is also decreased, then consider nephrotic syndrome as well. And here in this case you can easily differentiate between the pyramid as a cystic area and a real cyst in the kidney. This is a renal cyst in the left kidney. This is the upper core mid region. This is in, in the anterior mid region. Thank you.